welcome to Mendeley video course. You're watching video number five, creating a Mendeley library and overview. In this video, we will provide an overview of the several types of adding references and building a Mendeley library. What is a Mendeley library? A Mendeley library is nothing but a collection of references. Each reference includes the bibliographic details or the metadata and the relevant attachments, if any. There are a number of different ways of adding references to your Mendeley library. First, you may choose to add individual files or the contents of an entire folder by browsing to the relevant location on your computer. Second, you can opt to watch a folder, which means designating a folder in your computer as the watch folder. Once you do this, Mendeley monitors this location for any new items being dropped into that folder. And if it finds a new document, that document will be automatically added to your Mendeley library. Third, you may add references by manually entering all the bibliographic details. Fourth, you can also easily import an entire library created in other reference managers like EndNote, RefWorks, or Zotero. Fifth, you may also import references directly from online databases like PubMed, ScienceDirect, Google Scholar, etc. Let's learn a bit more on each of these methods. First, let's look at the manual entry option. This can be done for all types of bibliography, journal article, book, report, web page, blog, anything. However, for journal articles, there are more efficient and simpler ways available. We will look at that later. Manual entry is often the only option to add reports to your library, which are either available as a web page or a PDF document online, or sometimes only just a hard copy, a printed hard copy with no reference to the web, or guidelines, or any other documents, then web importer or PDF importer are not useful options. Assume we want to add a WHO Global TB report as a reference to uh, into our Mendeley library. First, you open the Mendeley desktop, Click on the downward arrow to the side of Add File on top left corner and select the option Add Entry Manually. Here a dialog box will open and then you will have to go on filling the appropriate fields manually and save the reference. We will show a live demonstration in the next video. The next option is adding a PDF document. Adding a PDF file or a folder containing many PDF files is straightforward. You click on Add Files or Add Folder, browse and select the file or folder you want to add. But the most important point to note here is the import of bibliographic details of PDF documents is not always perfect. In fact, often we find a lot of errors. Hence, it's very, very important to check each field and correct the errors manually, if any. In addition, you may create a watch folder, which means designating one of the folders in your computer as watch folder. Mendeley keeps a watch of this folder and any PDF files added to this folder will be imported automatically to the Mendeley library. So to do this, you have to go to Tools in the Mendeley desktop options and within options you can go to the tab watched folders and tick the folder you want to designate as watch folder for example here we have ticked the folder backup under temp as the watch folder and then click on apply now comes one of the more elegant options which is importing from pubmed with the Mendeley Web Importer extension, you will be easily able to saw, save references and PDF files into your personal library with a single click. Open the single article 
or the list of articles you want to import from PubMed and click on the web importer. The web importer extension will scan the page for all the bibliographic details or metadata and provide you with a list of results it finds. Remember, before trying to import, you should be logged in into your Mendeley web account. Otherwise, you will be forced to sign in at some point. After you click the web importer, a dialog box opens as shown. Before saving the reference in Mendeley, you have various options. Like you can edit the bibliographic details. You can select the folder where you want the reference to be stored in Mendeley. And you can also tick the option of downloading the PDF of the article along with bibliographic details if available. For now, you can just click save and the reference will get imported to your Mendeley web account. Please note that the reference is only in your web account as of now. For bringing it into the desktop, open the Mendeley desktop application and click on the sync button and then the bibliography will be found in the all documents of your desktop. Similarly, multiple references can be imported from PubMed using the web importer. You may choose to save all or tick the ones you want to save. Sometimes there is an error in direct import for reasons not entirely clear. How can we know this? There is usually an error message saying, sorry, we could not save this item into your library. How to identify which of the references in a list was not successfully saved? All the references which are successfully saved are indicated by a green tick like this. If the green tick is not there, then that means that particular reference is not successfully saved. Then we need to resort to other options. One such option is to try importing using PMID number, PubMed identification number. Every article in PubMed is given a PubMed identification number, what is known as PMID. All you need to do is use the lookup function and search for this article from within Mendeley desktop. How do we do that? Open Mendeley desktop, click on file, add entry manually. Enter the PMID number in the appropriate field and click on the lookup glass. Mentally searches the PubMed for the article and imports all the metadata instantly. And then you can save this. Similarly, one may also import publications from Science Direct or Google Scholar as well. Point to note here in Science Direct in addition to using the web importer, there is an additional option of importing to Mendeley straight away. The other option from PubMed is to first export all the references from PubMed into a PubMed citation file or a Medline file. Then use the import function in Mendeley desktop to import the references from these files. So I'm not going to demonstrate anything here, but we have a video where we are going to demonstrate how to do this. Finally, importing from Mendeley database. If you know the name of a paper or if you have a specific topic in mind, you can use the literature search setting from within Mendeley desktop. This allows you to retrieve new references from the Mendeley web catalog or Mendeley database. As the catalog is crowdsourced, that means this is formed by the Mendeley users across the globe, the literature search can only retrieve papers that have already been added by other users. So if your desired result is a very new or obscure paper, you may not be able to retrieve it from here. And Please note there may be errors. So please always check and correct the bibliographic details manually before you start citing them. 
This is another interesting way of finding articles related to your topic of interest. Again, please note that you are searching the Mendeley database and so the limitations we described previously hold true. To summarize, in this video, we learned about the different ways of adding references to the Mendeley library. In the next video, we will demonstrate how to add a reference manually into a Mendeley library. Thanks for watching.